One of the questions that I'm asked often is, how can I repent of something I didn't do in the past? Historical sins. It's a great question. I want to acknowledge, first and foremost, you can't repent for something that someone else did. Ezekiel 18 clearly says that you're to only pay and to repent for your own sins. And yet, at the same time, we have to acknowledge that while I can't repent for anyone else's sins, that there's language in the Bible that would indicate that I certainly can see historical sins and A, acknowledge that they're there, and B, renounce them. To say, that's not who I am. That's not who we are. And so, when we think about historical sin issues, we have to find the unique balance of, I wasn't there, I didn't do it, but at the same time to recognize that happened, that was bad, and there probably are some still remaining effects because sin hasn't stopped affecting us in any way, in any category, even today. That's where lament can be really helpful. Lament not only allows me to express remorse for my own sin, but it also allows me to express remorse for the sins of a culture, of a society. And in that way, lament helps us to thread the needle, to say, I, don't, I can't repent for something I didn't do or I wasn't a part of in the past, but it also is robust enough to say, but that happened, it's bad. And let's, by God's grace, work to be sure that we don't repeat the same sins as the past.